Good evening, salutations to another tea time. Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And I want to talk about something that I watched about, oh, give or take two weeks ago oh, on the Young Turks. And they brought up a very interesting concept about teenagers is that they can't feel empathy. And label them all as sociopaths, which, you know, this isn't a rant so much. I'm, I've am i already done a rant probably before this point anyways, because to me, I feel anyone can, act, can lack empathy. Because the definition of empathy, and I'm going to look it up, goes by the phrase of the intellectual identification with a with or vicarious experiencing of the feelings, thoughts, or attitudes of another. Imaginative ascribing to an object as a natural object or work of art. Feelings or attributes presenting oneself. Okay. Now this is according to that. And a lot of times, I see more adults who are less, you know, I always get the adults who say they understand what it's like to be me, and frankly, I disagree with them 100%. A lot of times, mostly because I'm not looking for an understanding, I'm probably looking at an analogy for pity, and I'm not looking for apathy either, but... Of course, you gotta run the whole gambit with them because they don't know what the hell you're talking about. Not sometimes, and it always feels like that. The reason to why I disagree with this is because I've actually seen plenty of empathetic young people. Because to me, when you understand how someone else feels, it's because you understand. You don't try to be all Oh, I understand where you come where you coming from home, yeah, I'm in your court. You know, you talk like a normal person, you act like a normal person. You're empathetic towards that person, and you understand how they feel about certain things. They say, a lot of times I feel, in our society, we do not understand teenagers, so we try to do stupid studies like these. These which actually make it a lot harder for you to, you know, or make it even harder to be a kid in this decade, or in this century. It's this part, anyways. <laughs> However, people find old people relatable because, well, they think, oh, wow, look how cool grandma and grandpa are. Especially when you're like six or seven years old uh, and don't know any better. <laughs> However, I think we have to kind of keep in mind people have their own problems. Not saying we should be, you know, only obsessed with our own problems. No. It's not always a best thing to be selfish. However, I understand people being selfish. And that's what they categorized it. They didn't go... Now, I'll give it to the Young Turks.
for not continuing to say, oh, children are stupid. It's like, it's not stupid. It's called survival, you idiot. But, you know, that's what it is. But at the same time, I do see their point. That sometimes teenagers do not always... They're not always considerate of people they know. Okay? They're not always considerate of their parents. And I've seen teenagers time and time again that are not considerate of their parents. I've been in that position myself, too. But it's usually... For me, it's more of like... You get parents that are these know-it-alls who say, well, everything happens to me, everything bad happens only to me, and I'm thinking, well, if that's the case, then, honey, you have a lot of problems, meaning, oh, you must be that person who lived in Louisiana who lost their home or something, and like I said, I don't want this to, sorry, I don't want this to devolve into a rant, so I'm going to stop there. It's just, to me, when you feel empathy for someone, it's not only, oh, well, you feel sorry for them. You've gone through it. Heck, I've done this myself. I've talked to other people who have lost someone else. And, you know, the first thing that ever, never, ever comes out of my mouth has been, I'm sorry. And it's not because I don't feel sorry for the person. Like, I don't feel sympathy for them, but... I've already been through this myself, so I understand that really what they need is space, time to think. Um, you come in when requested. I'll probably do a video about that to talk to you all about people about death. I mean, I know a lot of people really shouldn't be. I shouldn't be so adamant about talking and thinking about death. But it just is something that kids think about, not because, because, well, not just because it's bad, it's just that what, that's what human beings do. And it's true, it is what human beings do. We do think about death and how it is to be dead. Sorry to do that, but anyways. And we want to be there to comfort others. So to me, I kind of feel like when someone is being empathetic to me, or for my position of being empathetic, is they don't try to fix my problems. They're just there for me. You know, they... I know I was perfect, but you would, I would rather have someone come in and, you know, say, how you, ask me how I'm doing. Because a lot of times I think that gets ignored. Okay? I might have something going on in my mind, I'm not even thinking about death, and I don't want to talk about my father or my parents in general because I want to think about how the other one might die. Or even myself. Because there's a lot of places up in there. Um, you know, this video was about empathy, wasn't it? Yeah. That's just how I view empathy. What is empathy to you? Oh. Let me know in the comments below. And as per, as, you, as you know, please follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and click subscribe and the thumbs up button and all that, you know, nonsense. And sorry this video is so long. I usually try to keep these down to me like five minutes. However, anyways, uh, this is Evelyn O'Malley.